got me up all night putting things on the side. Hello, this is Orlando Mayor of Buddy Diamond. If you're a resident of Central Florida, you are welcome. Thinking out loud, yeah, I'm vibing with all we have. I'm feeling what we are now. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It is around 6 a.m. right now. I just got to the airport a little bit ago, came through TSA. Right off the bat, I wanna address my hair because I know a lot of you are gonna be like, whoa, who are you and what did you do with Hunter? I decided to dye my hair brown. I don't know why, I think I just wanted to do it for the fall, change it up a little bit. I've been blonde for so long now that I just was kinda wanting a change. I don't know if I necessarily like it or not yet. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Should I go back to blonde? Should I stay brown for a while? Let me know. I'm going to Pittsburgh for the day, literally less than 24 hours, going up this morning, coming back tonight. I honestly wasn't sure if I was gonna be going on this trip or not. John got home super late last night, so I didn't expect him to get home at midnight and then be up at three, drive two hours to Orlando with me to catch this flight. So he's still at home sleeping. I'm doing this solo dolo today, and I'm so tired. I am excited to go home, see some of my family members that I haven't seen in a while. Boarding starts in about an hour. I'm number four on standby, which is really shocking. I did not expect there to be nine people on standby for this flight to Pittsburgh. There's like 50, no, actually there's like 75 open seats on this, so I'm definitely gonna get on. I'm not worried about that, but I am gonna head over to the gate, check in, let the gate agent know I'm here, and maybe she'll give me my seat assignment early. I'm on my way now. in Pittsburgh. I don't even know how long that flight was. I think I like pretty much slept the entire time. It's really cold here. I'm not used to this. I'm like freezing right now. Hopefully it's a lot warmer outside. My dad is here somewhere. I need to go find him. He has not answered my message yet. Hashtag rude. But I know he's here somewhere. Looks like everything in Pittsburgh is still closed for the most part. I feel like that's the common trend to all the airports still. Shouldn't be so complicated If I listen to my heart I'm gonna leave it all Okay, trying to find my dad. I don't see him yet, but it's really cold here. I was not expecting this. It says it's 72, but I feel like 72 in Pittsburgh versus 72 in Tampa are like two different temperatures. I'm on my way now. Well, I'm definitely not in Florida anymore. Look at this, this is crazy. Hey guys, so I just got to the park. I'm here with some of my family members. We are celebrating my cousin's college graduation today, keeping it super low key and not a lot of people, obviously because of everything going on right now, but it is so freaking beautiful here. Look at this, insane, freaking insane. Sorry, I'm like so used to like the beach now in Florida. I just love it here. I do miss Pennsylvania in the fall, but overall, I'm happy in Florida. Feels like I'm literally on the set of like a Hallmark fall movie right now. I don't know if I told you guys, I got my nose pierced. A lot of you liked it and a lot of you didn't like it. I literally lost a subscriber over it. I'm like, okay, I'm so sorry if my nose piercing offended you. I did not mean to offend anyone. My bad. Welcome to my apartment. Like, just kidding, my family actually owns this apartment. I'm staying here tonight solo dolo. I was gonna head home tonight, but I'm actually just gonna spend the night here and then just take the first flight out in the morning on Southwest. It's just easier. I'm honestly so tired. I'm a little bit jet lagged. Today was a really long day. I kinda just wanna have a nice chill night, maybe have a glass of wine. I don't even know if there's wine here, but I just kinda wanna hang out and then I'll get up early and take the flight home in the morning and then I actually have plans with tomorrow. We're going to see Hocus Pocus. Maybe I can come sit out on the porch tonight. It's gonna be chilly though, I think. I think it would be more homey though if I lit some candles and just relax. Maybe I'll actually jump in the shower too. Okay, tripod, come through. You guys are sitting on a wax burner right now. The lighting in this apartment is just not it though, at all. The lighting in here is just never gonna get better. I just got out of the shower. It is 12.08 a.m. I am so mad because I ended up going out tonight and I forgot my freaking camera and I was gonna record on my phone, but like I really could. I was sitting here and my stepdad texted me. He was like, hey, do you want to go to this haunted corn maze? Maybe grab some dinner with me and your brother. And I was like, duh. So we ended up going to grab some food. I just got something totally small. I barely ate any of it. I feel kind of bad. And then we ended up going like almost an hour away to this haunted corn maze. It was so much fun. I'll insert some like clips from their website for you guys. <laughs> So 
so that's where we went. It was so much fun, and now I'm back at the apartment. I just got out of the shower. I have to be up around like 8 a.m. My flight leaves at noon tomorrow, so I want to get to the airport like no later than 10, just because I do have to go through normal security. I've talked about that in other vlogs. Since I'm on leave from work right now, I cannot use my cruise security or use my badge. I have to go through like a normal passenger now. With that being said, I'm gonna brush my teeth and get ready for bed, and I will see you guys in eight short hours. Good night. Good morning, everyone. I'm so sleepy. It's around 8.30 right now. I just called a car to come pick me up and take me to the airport. Headed back to Orlando today. This was such a fun trip. I was so excited that I got to see some of my family members. I didn't really want to put them on camera, though, because, like, I'm only here for a day, and, like, the last thing I want to do is be like... Oh, I think that's my car. Uh, six minutes. Perfect. I didn't want to be like, here, be in my vlog, like, say hi to the camera. I just wanted to enjoy my time with them and make the most of it, so I hope you guys don't mind about that. But I am going to continue the vlog for the rest of the day. We are headed back to Orlando now. Like I said, my car will be here in six minutes. I just have to finish getting the last of my stuff ready and then lock up. <laughs> Just got to the airport. Honestly, the Uber driver was really nice, and I really don't care if people smoke cigarettes, but the car smelled like cigarettes so bad I feel like it's on my clothes, and I'm not judging at all. I just, like, hate that smell on my clothes, you know what I mean? Not judging, just an observation. I'm gonna head into the terminal now. I'm taking Southwest home today, so I'm gonna head over to the Southwest ticket counter, check in, get my little documents, get through security, and then hopefully get on this flight. I think all these planes are like permanently parked here right now. They all have covers over the engines. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're just hanging out here for a few days, but my guess is that because of COVID, they're probably just hanging out here for a while. The airport is seriously so empty. It probably took me about three minutes to get through TSA this morning, and now I'm in the actual terminal part of the airport, and there's no one. Seriously, it is a ghost town. Almost to the point where it's a little bit concerning. Where is everybody? There has to be like one other person traveling. Update time. Just checked in with the gate agent. We have about 30 minutes until we start boarding, and hopefully soon I'll find out if I have a seat on the flight. Like I said, I did not look. Usually I just text someone from Southwest and be like, hey, is there any open seats on this flight? But I was kind of just feeling like more adventurous, I guess, today. Hopefully they have seats. If not, there's the flight on my airline at three o'clock, but that gets me in at five. I have plans with yeah, like six. Kind of need to get in there a little bit earlier than that. But either way, it will work out because if there's no seats on this flight, there's definitely seats on my airline and I'll still have time to see later. Just got on the plane. I'm in the last row, which is totally fine. Not a big deal. Um, I think he said it's going to be like an hour and 50 minutes till we get to Orlando. Hopefully I can just kind of like knock out and fall asleep on this flight because I really didn't get a lot of sleep on this trip at all. Two days ago, I got like three hours of sleep. Maybe that honestly might be stretching it. And last night I got like six. That's better than nothing, but still not a lot overall. Holy cow, the airport is literally packed here in Orlando. Pittsburgh was so dead, like I showed you guys, but Orlando is popping right now. I'm gonna head over to my car, and then I'm gonna head over to my house for the rest of our evening. So I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up and start a new vlog. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Like, I would really appreciate that. It's free, and I'll literally love you forever. So, please subscribe. Also, drop me a comment down below. I respond to all of your comments, whether they're good, bad, ugly, whatever. And we're starting a new vlog in three, two, one.